Okay, everyone, I'm on a roll today. I had a few videos I wanted to put out. One was my video talking about Mary and her official split with Cody and their announcement. If you haven't watched that video, you guys, please watch that video. Subscribe, share, like it. Tell all your people about it. It's a great time. But now I want to talk about Miss Gwendolyn. If you guys have not subscribed to Gwendolyn Brown's YouTube channel, or if you guys have not uh, subscribed to her Patreon, listen, Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn is everything we asked for and didn't know that we really deserved, and we got it. And I don't know how more of these children have not come out like Gwen. I don't know how Gwen was the only one brilliant enough to say, let me capitalize on the years that I have invested into this show that I have nothing financial to show for. I think even she mentions in her review how, it's be how she's broke as a college student. I'm sorry, baby, but if I had been on a reality show since I was eight years old, there's no way I should be able to say that I'm broke. And that tells me that financially, this is an incredibly irresponsible situation. And every single last one of those kids should have been cut a check. And if they haven't been cut a check, there should be some kind of uh, stipe. I don't know. Where's the money at for the kids? Because I find it very interesting that these kids have been on television for this long and they don't have their entire college tuitions paid for. 17 seasons and no college tuition, that's a problem. I'm sorry. That's not okay. TLC, do better. You guys could have done a GoFundMe. No shade. And we would have funded their education. So I'm sorry, but cut that mess out. But either way, Miss Gwendolyn, who I love, she is probably one of the most articulate people I have ever seen on YouTube. She is so articulate. I, I mean, and just so present, so um, thoughtful in all of her commentary. Even when she doesn't like somebody, she's still thoughtful in how she's representing herself when she's saying, hey, you're not my faith. And even if, if I was Robin right now, if there was anybody's, I guess, not uh, anybody's opinion of myself personally, like if... Gwendolyn was talking about me personally. She just seems so honest in her interpretation of individuals. And her interpretation of Robin, if I was Robin and Gwendolyn said what she has said about Robin and, and you know, was directed towards me, man, I would probably take a really close look at that because Gwendolyn just seems incredibly honest and, but also very aware. So if she's saying that she doesn't like you, and there's an issue there, man, that might be somebody I would really want to talk to and not just have a, a broader conversation and a chat with about what it is about me that really triggers her. Because it could be something that's adjustable. And honestly, it could be something that's maybe impacting other relationships in my life or maybe even impacting my business and my money. You may not realize that you're an unlikable person and that's why your business is not progressing as maybe you would like it to. And Gwendolyn seems like a a person that has a pretty decent judge of character. So if I was Robin and I knew I wanted to have a business or I wanted to be perceived a certain way, I might have a conversation with Gwendolyn about what it is about me personally without taking without taking it personal. Uh, what, it is, what it is about me that kind of turns her off? What it is about me that makes her think like, you might not be the type of person I really want to be around. So I always find it interesting what Gwendolyn has to say. And so she did a review of her, I think it's episode four of season 17. And it's when her, when first off Janelle tells everybody she's gotten the RV, which she just has such a cute reaction to Janelle. She just seems like she really embraces each mom for who they are and what their strengths are and things that they love to do. And she points out how Janelle got her at some point hiking boots for her birthday so they could go on a hike. And I love that she pointed out a time period in which Janelle was trying to connect with kids outside of her own. I just thought that was a really beautiful thing that she focused on. And also this episode, she's, it's interesting to me because she's not one-sided. Like there's, there's periods in which her dad is talking about certain subjects that she empathizes with her dad, but she also calls her dad out and says, this, these things aren't adding up. Like, 
if we were to do a mathematical equation, dad, these things are not adding up. And I like that she is still protective of her dad, but she also is saying, dad, come on now. Like, let's be 100% real. And she calls out their relationship and how they probably weren't in the best space during that time period. So I love that she's really transparent about what's really going on. And maybe she might have a little bit of bias because she wasn't as close with her dad during that time period. Either way it goes, though, I you can clearly see that Cody is just really not connected with his family in a real way. So she watches her dad argue, go off, do all these things. She watches. I love how she talks about how Robin had really valid points and they were very straightforward and to the point. I like that she actually kind of takes Robin's side a little bit because it really shows that any any bias that Gwen has has nothing to do with her mom or her mom's divorce. If she has a feeling towards Robin, it's something that Robin has helped to create and to cultivate. It has nothing to do with her mother. And I'm loving that. I'm loving that there's moments where she's like, I'm really understanding what Robin's saying. I have empathy for Robin in these moments. However, I don't like this woman. Like, it has nothing to do with how my mom's treated. It has nothing to do with anything and of these outside situations. It's how I feel and how this woman has treated and dealt with me. And I love that Robin, and that Robin, I love that Gwendolyn did it that way because it's just so clean, so concise, so clear. Like, bravo, chef's kiss, Robin, not Robin, Gwendolyn <laughs> on your review of episode four. I just love that you did that. She's so <laughs> like sweet and innocent when she's answering the questions from her patreon where people get to ask her like and these people are going in on these questions i don't know how gwendolyn has been able to be like that's cool i'm gonna answer all these questions and a lot of these questions are like questions people have really wanted to know so she has she's honestly clearing house of all the what if scenarios all the questions people have had for years about what is really going on with this family so i'm loving gwendolyn's little Let's talk about it sessions that she's having. Like, Gwen, you're my queen. But, oh my God, she's just so articulate about it. So sweet. I love that she talked about how um, her brothers and especially like, uh, not Garrison, but Gabe and his dad. Like, she's like, that might be irre irreparable. Like, they may not be able to fix that. The bridge might be just too burnt. And I would not be shocked. I mean, it's it's really bad. And I would not be shocked if they don't ever come back together. And that's sad for me to hear. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's really hard to come back from that. Especially when they're kind of putting all this pressure on you. And they're taking no accountability or minimal to no accountability on how they contributed to the issue. So I love that she talks about that. Um, she continues to speak about Robin uh, she talks about Janelle and if Janelle's leaving and I don't know if maybe she didn't know that Janelle had left during this point or if she was maybe respecting Janelle's I'm separated term so she's not really considering it that she's left it's more so well she's separated she's not really spending time with him but she also has not completely divorced Cody so I feel like that's what what Gwendolyn was respecting in her videos which I totally understand um so that that was really interesting if you guys have not watched Gwen like I said subscribe to her YouTube subscribe to her Patreon I won't be talking about anything that happens on her Patreon here I'm only going to talk about things that she's actually posted on her YouTube because that's open free to the public and I'm sorry but I want Gwen to get her coin because these kids should not be broke going to college if they have been on a reality show since they were eight years old that's a problem all these kids should be making videos at this point if that's what it takes to get their money to pay for any kind of debt they have regarding their education, maybe owning a home, all those things. These kids open up their worlds and their lives to us and they deserve so much more. And I'm honestly really mad about it. Anywho, you guys, hey, that's the end. Just want to talk about that subject a little bit. Make sure you like and subscribe, share the channel. Hey, I will be reviewing Sister Husband's you guys know this is going to be so messy. Like, oh my God. Sister, husbands, these two, all the testosterone, all that energy in one space. Ah, it's going to be a mess.
but I will be reviewing it and I can't wait to watch it. And if you are going to be watching it, you guys, hey, make sure you tune into the channel. Catch up with me. Talk with me. Leave a comment below. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.